This is a water side scene I created in Blender, which always seems a bit unrealistic. Why is that? Let's look at a real reference. We see that due to the influence of water, the soil by the water becomes wet, the color darkens, and the reflection strengthens. When we add these changes, the scene becomes more realistic. How is this achieved? I will explain it to you next. We start with a solid colored ground, which is more conducive to seeing the changes in effects. First, we select the cursor tool and click on the position of the water surface. Then we add an empty, so the Z axis position of the empty is the same as the water surface. Next, switch to the material panel, add a texture coordinate node, and add the empty we just created to the texture coordinate. Then we switch to object mode. In this mode, the position of the empty will be at the coordinates 0, 0, 0. We then add a separate XYZ node, switch to the Z axis, so we can get a black and white color gradient that changes in height along the Z axis with the water surface position as 0. Why? Because the position of the empty on the Z axis is the same as the water surface. We add another color ramp node, flip the colors, so that the position at the same height as the water surface is 1, and the color gradually becomes 0 as the height moves away from the water surface. This way, we can use this black and white gradient as a mask to adjust the properties of the material, based on the reference we just analyzed, to make the color darker near the water surface. Reduce the roughness near the water surface and increase the reflection near the water surface. You can also adjust the range of the ramp. Okay. Let's compare the changes before and after the adjustment. It looks more like the feeling of being by the water. Nice. You may encounter such a problem. Why do I operate in the same way? But the effect does not feel realistic enough. Perhaps your ground details are not enough. You see, when I turn off the details of the ground, the effect also does not look realistic enough. But when I turn on the displacement and stones of the ground, the realism is enhanced. So the details of the ground are also very important. Now let's see how to operate if we add textures. Following the previous idea, we adjust base color, roughness, and reflectivity separately. After adjusting, but now I see a problem. There are many bright noise points on the water surface. Why does this happen? Let's turn off the water surface. It turns out that the ground under the water produces a lot of sharp reflections. How to solve this problem? We switch to the Z axis of object coordinate. The height position of the empty is zero. So all height values above the water surface are greater than zero. And all height values below the water surface are less than zero. Therefore, we see in the view that all positions below the water surface are black because all height values below the water surface are negative. We add a math node change the calculation method to greater than, and set the value to zero. This operation makes values greater than zero become one, and values less than zero become zero. Then we use this mask to set the reflectivity of the positions below the water surface to zero. This way the problem is solved. The noise points disappear. Next, you will find a new problem, there are many objects near the water surface, both ground and stones, which will involve many materials. So how can we operate more conveniently? We can make these nodes into a node group. And then call this node group and other materials for use. This will be more convenient. I will not continue to demonstrate. Next. Let's think about it. Where else can this technique be used? 
I hope everyone can think divergently, for example. We use geometry nodes to plant grass on the ground, but we don't want to plant below the water surface. How should we operate? Let's start. First, we add a position node, then add a separate XYZ node, and then we display Z. Now the black position is not at the water surface position, what to do? In fact, the position of the position node, 0, 0, 0, is at the object's origin position. So we can change the object's origin position to change the zero point position of Z. Is there another way? Of course. We add the empty used in the material to the geometry nodes. Change the mode to relative, add a vector math node, let position, subtract the location of empty. So the position of zero, zero, zero is now the position of empty. Then we can use this mask to control the distribution of points. You can also control the size of the instance objects of the points. In fact, there are many places where you can operate. The only limit is your experience and imagination. When I was making this effect picture, I used the technique shared today several times when adjusting the wet effect of the river surface material and planting grass. Every small step will bring you closer to making a good work. I hope this technique can help you. Goodbye.